if I have a sequence x of n that looks like this, for example, and I draw pictorially all these representation, these numbers representing x of n across the x-axis, and I'm interested in the first in the value at n equals to zero. What do I do? I can write x of zero, and then I'll get the value maybe a. That's one way I can do it. The other way I could do it a little bit more cleverly is I can say xn multiplied by delta n. What is delta n? So delta n is 1 with a lot of zeros, right? This is 0, 1, 2, 3, and this is the delta n. Delta n means the whole function. Yeah? Now, if I have a function multiplied by another function, then the x-axis is the same. What do I get? Another function. All these are 0 except a. So be careful about this. They are not the same. Here, I get the value x of 0, and I give you a number a. Okay? Here, I give you not a number. I give you a function that has all the zeros except at the point n equals to 0. Okay? This is called the sifting property. Now, what do you think will happen when I do it this way, guys? x of n multiplied by delta n minus 2. What will come out? C will come out. So 0, 1, 2, and C will come out. But C is a fun it's not a point C, yeah? it is a function. That what? It looks like this. Okay? This is not C. It is a function that has all zeros except at point Two. Okay, with value C.